Welcome to The Bourbon Jerk. Thanks for your click. I know bourbon hunting videos are really popular right now, but what if I told you that you didn't have to hunt at all in order to find a great bottle of bourbon? Today's video, I'm gonna tell you about the best bottles to buy at each price point from $30 on up to $100. You shouldn't need to hunt for any of these. Most, if not all of these are gonna be sitting on shelves at just about any of your local stores. Because hey, who really has time for hunting? First price point that I'm using is less than 30 bucks. And yes, you can absolutely buy great bourbon for less than $30. Prime example is Wild Turkey 101 for about $27. To me, this might be the quintessential bourbon. It's great neat over a block of ice or even as a mixer. It's the perfect introduction to the Wild Turkey brand and that bold flavor profile of cherry, vanilla, and spice. This was definitely a gateway bottle for me. Next, Buffalo Trace for about $27, $28. The one Buffalo Trace product that you can actually find. It's solid. The, the profile is on the sweeter end, which makes it very approachable. Uh, it's the same mash bill that they use with their higher end and harder to find products like Stag, Eagle Rare, and most of the EH Taylor. Rounding out this price point, Old Granddad or OGD 114 for just a hair under 30 bucks. A little bit of a sleeper, but this one packs a wallop at a very modest price point. If you like the peanut note that's associated with a lot of the Jim Beam products, this one is worth picking up. And at less than 40 bucks, how about Four Roses Small Batch at about 37 bucks? This one is definitely overlooked. Um, I would describe the Four Roses profile as a bit on the mellower side with a bit more of a creamy mouthfeel than some of the other bottles that I mentioned so far. Nice, complex flavors, solid pour. For about the same price, Knob Creek 9-Year, I think is a fantastic value uh, with the 9-Year age statement and the fact that it comes in at 100 proof. Um, you get a little deeper into the Jim Beam profile with the vanilla, caramel, and peanut butter notes. Another solid bottle. Moving on up to about 50 bucks, this is where you're gonna start to find some really solid cask strength and barrel proof bottles like Wild Turkey Rare Breed. I think it's important to mention that about 90% of our viewers aren't subscribed to the channel yet. So what are you waiting for? We're putting out whiskey content every week. If you wanna stay in the loop, make sure you click that button. This 116 proofer is hard to beat. It'll stand up to bottles twice as expensive. If you've tried this one, you know what I'm talking about. Another one is the Maker's Mark cask strength for about 45 bucks. Uh, it's a cask strength weeder that, again, probably gets overlooked by most. Um, there's nothing about this bottle shape or label that sticks out. You kind of feel like you've got to be looking for it to notice it. Uh, if you're a fan of weeded bourbons, this is a really solid offering. And then we've got Still Austin cask strength bourbon at about 50 bucks. This is a newer brand and these just started hitting shelves in my state. This is an absolute beast. The flavors are pronounced, the complex, and the fact that it's only two years old is just crazy. Still Austin really seems to be harnessing that Texas heat to perfection. Before we get into the next price range, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by our good friends over at Into the AM. Yeah, that's right, my favorite place to buy graphic tees, solid tees, hoodies, athletic shorts, joggers, boxer briefs, socks. Nope, they don't make socks. They don't make socks, they should totally make socks. Some of their newer products include Henleys, flannels, polos. I like their stuff because the materials that they use are flat out the softest and most comfortable out there and the fit is just right. They've got a huge clearance sale that's gonna be going on between March 15th and 18th where they're gonna have discounts ranging from 30 to 80% off. And if you wanna save even more, use my link in the description below. Make sure to use code word jerky at checkout and you're gonna save yourself another 10% off of that and you'll be having to support the channel. At just under 60 bucks, a lot more options open up. At this price point, I'm gonna say anything by New Riff is a good bet, particularly their rice. The bottle and bond and single barrels are everywhere. And I've also seen the Balboa and Malted Rise on plenty of shelves. These are easy to spot, just look at them. And they're all hitters. Next, we've got Old Forester 1910 for about 56 bucks and Wardford Reserve Double Oak for about 59. Take your pick. I definitely have a taste for double oaked and these are both really well done. The Woodford is a bit sweeter and a bit more cherry forward, whereas the Old Forester is a bit more balanced. Both great. Moving up to just under 70 bucks, Larceny Barrel Proof at about 65 bucks. I first tried this one a few years ago and it's been one of my favorites ever since. Cinnamon, brown sugar, nutmeg, vanilla, really nice layers of flavor. And the proof is usually dialed up to well over 120. Speaking of dialed up proof points, Jack Daniel's Single Barrel Barrel Proof also makes my list here at about 66 bucks. These are outstanding. Jack Daniel's has been on a tear for the last few years, and while some of their limited releases are scarce, 
These are available and depending on who you ask, are just as good, if not better. Can't forget to mention here, Sagamore Double Oak Rye for about 65 bucks. This is one of those just right bottles, ticks a lot of boxes. Go pick one up, you'll thank me later. Moving up to just under $80, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof for about 75 bucks. Like the Larceny Barrel Proof, these drop three times every year. These usually carry a solid age statement and proof points ranging from just under 120 all the way up over 130. Uh, last year's sea batch was a bit harder to find. Uh, that was the one that was over 13 years old. Uh, but the other batches, they're still out there on the shelves. Also at $75, Russell Store Picks. These kind of just hit my sweet spot. Uh, whereas Rare Breed is batched, Russell's picks are single barrels. The age statements vary from about eight to 10 years, and they do come from different Rick houses, which provide different nuances on that classic wild turkey flavor profile. Moving up to just under 90 bucks, I'm gonna say anything by Barrel Craft Spirits. These all tend to cost about $85. I know I've mentioned these guys in other videos, but Dovetail and Seagrass are two of my absolute favorites. Vantage is also really good, and the batch bourbons that they put out every year, always excellent. The word that comes to mind when I think of Barrel Craft Spirits is consistency. They're consistently putting out quality product. Rounding out my list at just under 100 bucks, Booker's. Okay, these are a little harder to find out by me, but they're definitely out there. After picking up last year's Storyteller batch right here, I'm a fan. I think these are among the best products offered by Jim Beam, regardless of price. Finally, at just under 100 bucks, 2XO. This is also a new product line. Uh, the brand comes from Dixon Deadman, who's got a rep as one of the best blenders in the business. 2XO is two times oaked or double oaked. Uh, the first release came back in late 2022 with the Phoenix blend. And each successive release has been a little better than the last, in my opinion. There you go, guys. No hunting needed. Solid bottle recommendations at every price point that you can go out and buy tomorrow if you want to. Do with that information what you will. Thanks for watching the video. And until next time, as always, stay jerky.